Article 16, Article 16 of the Realtor Code of Ethics addresses the ethic responsibility of real estate professionals regarding the disclosure of information related to their transactions. Specifically, Article 16 focuses on the obligation to disclose pertinent information to avoid misrepresentation or concealment. Article 16's duties to the clients and customers. Realtors acting as agents or brokers of a buyer shall disclose the existence of and nature of compensation agreements with sellers or landlords as required by their local jurisdiction. Article 16 and its standards of practice highlight the importance of transparency and disclosure, especially when it comes to compensation agreements of realtors. They are obligated to inform clients and customers about the existence and nature of compensation agreements, fostering trust and ensuring that all parties involved have a clear understanding of the financial aspects of the transaction. Adhering to these standards helps maintain the integrity of the real estate transaction and promotes fair and ethical business practices within the industry. Article 16 case study. Here's the scenario. John, a licensed realtor, is representing a seller, Mr. Harris, who has signed an exclusive representation agreement with John's brokerage. The agreement specifies that John is the sole agent authorized to list Mr. Harris's property. Meanwhile, Lisa, another licensed realtor, from a different brokerage learns about Mr. Harris's property and contacts him directly expressing interest in listing the home. Here's the issue. The issue in this scenario centers around the obligations outlined in the Realtor Code of Ethics, emphasizing that realtors shall not engage in any practice or take any action inconsistent with exclusive representation or exclusive brokerage rep relationship agreements that other realtors have with a client. Lisa, in contacting Mr. Harris directly, may inadvertently violate this provision by attempting to secure a listing for a property already under an exclusive representation agreement. The provision underscores the importance of respecting existing exclusive representation agreements between a client and a fellow realtor. In this case, Lisa should be aware of Mr. Harris's existing agreement with John and refrain from taking any action that would interfere with or contradict the terms of that agreement. To do this ethically, Lisa should Verify whether Mr. Harris has an existing exclusive agreement with another realtor, in this case, John. If Lisa discovers the existing agreement, she should respect its terms and avoid attempting to secure a listing with Mr. Harris. She should encourage Mr. Harris to communicate directly with John, his current realtor, regarding any concerns or questions about the listing agreement and clarify to Mr. Harris that it's standard practice to communicate through the, his designated realtor, John, when there is an exclusive representation agreement in place, and refrain from engaging in any further actions inconsistent with the exclusive representation agreement and maintain professionalism and integrity throughout the rest of the relationship process. By adhering to these provisions in the Code of Ethics, Lisa ensures that she respects the professional relationship established between clients and their realtors. This approach promotes a fair and ethical real estate environment, protecting the interest of all parties, including both the client and the other real estate professionals.